Some young northerners are instigated to see Bamayi. It is a call for military road. Ahmad Sajo sings. Ahmad Sajo speaks. A former commissioner for information and strategy in Adamawa State, Ahmad Sajo has criticized some political opportunists for exploiting public discontent to gain political leverage. He pointed out that some northerners have been incited to make traditional calls for military rule, which is driven by politicians looking to capitalize on the end bad governance protest in the north. He lamented that many northern political elites are merely opportunists seeking to advance their interest when given the chance. He asserted that the protest in the north does not reflect the perception of President Asiwaji Bola met in the north. He stated that they instead view the failure of northern elites to fulfill their responsibilities. He emphasized that northern elites have neglected their duty to empower the youth, which has resulted in a significant number of uneducated and homeless children wandering the streets. He said in an interview with Arise TV, there are political opportunists that are trying to cash in on this discontent as exemplified by the protest, and they want to gain some political currency out of the situation. Some young northerners are instigated to say Bamaye, which is a call for military rule. To my understanding, politicians are trying to exploit the interest in them to exploit the protest in the north. Most of our political elite in the north, unfortunately, are opportunists. They're just looking for opening and then begin to set in their agenda. If you want my honest opinion as a Nigerian and as a northerner, I will tell you that what played out during the protest was not the perception of Asiwaju in the north. What played, what played the abdication of the role and responsibilities of the Northern Elite? We have abdicated our role and responsibilities to empower our young people. We have allowed a large army of uneducated out of school children who are now working, who are now working the streets without homes and families. Well, I will not say I don't know. There, there are some Northern Elite who are working so hard to, you know, do a lot of commit a lot of, um, how am I going to put it? They are trying so hard to make sure that, you see this protest, that they set their own agenda. They want to use this protest to set in their agenda. But I'm not going to pretend I don't know. But the thing is, whose fault? You are calling on the Northern Elites, you, you are an elite. What are you doing? They say in the, in the absence of a particular good person, let's say you live in an environment and they lack good people there, you should be that good person. You will be your number one, dear. I think the Northern youths are showing too much rascality in the ongoing protest. This is not the agreement with the protest organizers. They should be cautioned. Well, I'm going to say this. Yes, no. Truly. The ones where they pay, there are some that they paid. Maybe there are some who are just doing it. Whatever be the case. As in the Northern, they have a long, long, long way to go. As far I can guess, as as far as I can guess, the northern leaders are just mere opportunists because their main interest is nothing but to get money and build big houses in Abuja and abroad and keep some of some for their majority at their hometowns if they own vacation, if they're on vacation. They're not important to the people they represent. They're only important to themselves and their families and relatives and a few political associates as well. In the other direction, those leaders are from this. Those that are from the south assist in general to whoever you are. Uneducated and homeless children wandering the streets, they were not the words of Ahmed Sajjo, rather they were words put in his mouth by the useless, moronic blogger. Anyone you see in the north is homeless only when he stepped out of his parents' home because no baby factory in the north, which other region cannot boast of that. No baby factory in the north. Ah, okay. Is he trying to exonerate himself from the group of Northern Distress, my dear? That is what I'm saying. If you are saying the Northern Elias should shake in it, that means you too, you have something to draw about it. Please, we are the military. They should quickly declare Operation Bandit Dance, Operation Boko Haram Brown. Because if this has happened in the South, you would have been hearing Operation Goats and Chicken Dance, Air Operation. Raise your hand anywhere you see the numerous checkpoints, littered everywhere. But the boycott of this protest where the South is has made us to know that the so-called one Nigeria people that we're dealing with and we have taken correction where we have taken correction where because it will never happen again. So may I be say this man as you come aside they say some 
you follow. You cannot say generate yourself. You cannot say you know follow. It is either if you're coming out to say you know follow, that means you have to come outside and be actively doing something. Be the one re brainwashing, be programming their brains. If they come as a contact, say, Oh, see, not, see, not, an answer. see, 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 be the person that is reprogramming them. Do you understand? Democracy is madness, full of wickedness and evil. The worst is the APC government, which they brought about insecurities in the country and hardship. Military rule is the best solution to Nigeria's situation. You people should know that the Southerners have different minds. They don't do anything rather than push them out of the street. Federal government should have done better to stop the protests from starting. Instead, they were engaging with traditional rulers, thugs, agbarus, imams, they forget their angers, and hungry. Poverty, depression, idleness, hunger, sleepless nights, overthinking anxieties, and doesn't understand propaganda or any language rather than do the needful and crash down the prices. There is a lot to know would have done because he was giving time. But the thing is, I don't know whether they call us with the bluff. Maybe they are saying that we are bluffing because I don't understand. Where have you been all this while? Are you part of those that are collecting money on behalf of the masses? Please stay away from this matter. The youth are asking for their right. The military has no longer has no longer any stake in Nigeria's political evolution and affairs. Because Nigeria is now democratic and thriving. Democratic, yes, but not thriving. From the beginning, I lament the cause of the strike and what is capable of unleashing. The note has always believed the power to rule is theirs forever and can do anything to retain it, including supporting a military takeover that will be handed by a nothing man. Another guy, some of the Yoruba Ibo hater cannot dare criticize Zarewa. Cowards. It is only on P2B he will get the power to talk anyhow. None of you Yorubas can soak anything foolish and cowardice. None of Yorubas can talk anything. Foolish and cowardice people everywhere. All right. You are suffering from election defeat. Why are the Igbos in deep bitterness? Are you really serious? To win presidential election will be difficult by your tribe because you abuse me. Just take a look at the comments and see the bitterness emanating from this tribe. You did enjoy the protest in your region, but you are 150% instigator and you joined in other regions. Can the religions have safe role? Just yesterday, seven village head were murdered by gunmen in Imo, and your tribe kept quiet. Go home and settle first. Hey, <laughs> hey. Hey. All right, so on this note, you have come for the end, to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.